Well, undoubtedly, it was a nice day out there once we warmed up after the really bitter cold one this morning and didn't have quite the wind. Amen to that. Yeah, we like it when it's not real windy like it has been lately. Unfortunately, we are in for another cold night or two. We're going to see temperatures uh, colder than usual for two more nights, but there is relief from this cold. We'll see highs starting Saturday return into the 60s, actually warmer than usual. Unfortunately, the latter half of the weekend, well, that's when we're going to see extra windy conditions out there for Sunday. So we get a nice little break and then Sunday rolls in. We're still not bad temperature wise, but we could see wind gusts as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially later in the day. It's not perfect. But at least it won't be snowing on Sunday, right? It could always be worse. Storm tracker, satellite radar, you can see some clouds, a little bit of a storm system over the panhandle now over western Montana. As you can see, it's weakening quite a bit. We have high pressure building in from the southwest. At high pressure is what's going to keep us dry into the weekend, also will help warm us up. And then a system will start to drop down from the north late uh, Saturday into Sunday. And in the response to that, that's why we're thinking strong winds in the forecast, especially in the Snake River Plain for the second half of the weekend. 28 will be the low at Pocatello. That's a little better than last night. It was 24. 28's a little higher. I know it's still below freezing, but at least it's not windy. We don't need it to feel any colder out there than it actually is. 21 for a low temperature in Idaho Falls. Last night it was 18, so we're, we're doing a little better, below freezing again. And I think even tomorrow night, you'll see in the seven day, temperatures will moderate even more. 56 is where we're going to end up in the afternoon. We'll call that slightly warmer than this afternoon. We'll take it any little degree we can, especially after we have a cold uh, snap like we just had with the snow yesterday and then chilly willy night. 58 for a high temperature in Pocatello, slightly warmer than this afternoon. Elsewhere on the map, who else is going to be in the 50s? Blackfoot, you're in the 50s. 55 for even Soda Springs. Montpelier will both be in the lower 50s. And then over in the Magic Valley, that's a sign of things that will eventually head our way. Twin Falls at 63 in the afternoon. Boise at 65. And storm free, at least on travel trackers. Some places a lot colder than others. Cloudy and only a high of 37 up in Great Falls, Montana. Yeah, they can have that high of 37, right? Your southeast Idaho Shiva dealer seven day forecast. We'll see lows in the 30s. Yeah, 36 actually Monday, Tuesday morning, but there's the weekend. We're dry, storm free. Just the wind's going to get a little huffy and puffy on Sunday. Monday, we're a little cooler. 60, not bad. No snow. And then look at that 70 waiting for us with some, maybe some thunderstorms late in the day on Wednesday. Rexburg seven day forecast, kind of a calm start to the weekend. Here comes the wind. Temperatures jump up a bit too in response to that wind. Blackfoot seven day forecast. We're in the 60s Saturday, mid 60s and windy on Sunday. And you may need your umbrella next Wednesday and Thursday, not for snow, but for maybe some showers. You might even see some lightning and hear some thunder. Teton area, same thing, but for the weekend, we are storm free. Central mountains, we'll call it mostly to partly sunny this weekend with highs in the lower 60s.